Well, it's really an epidemic in San Francisco. Car break-ins. They were up 26% last year alone. And tonight, KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen reports that police have a new strategy to keep you from becoming a victim. A family from Utah parked their car to take pictures at the popular tourist spot, Lombard Street. It only took a few minutes for a thief to come up, case the car, and break the window to steal a purse. One of the most frustrating things for me is when I'm walking around the city or driving around and I look on the ground and I see pebbles of glass because I know what that means and you all know what it means. On average, it happens 85 times every day. In 2016, the city saw more than 25,000 smash and grabs. That number jumped to more than 30,000 in 2017. It doesn't happen in other cities, and it shouldn't be happening in San Francisco. Now, the city is doubling down and will station property crimes coordinators at each police station. It takes coordination to make this happen, and that's going to be their jobs. The extra officer's sole job will be to prevent and investigate break-ins. Police say organized crime rings are responsible for the spike in thefts. Many of them aren't from the city. Some of them are. Many of them aren't. We have to work with the other departments in the other cities to make sure we're all on the same page. But it also takes help from drivers. Police say don't tempt the bad guys by leaving valuables like this or this or this in the car. It's very humbling when you have this issue and you can't and you can't fix it. Right now, the arrest rate for auto break-ins within the city limits is only 2%. So the new efforts have a long way to go. In San Francisco, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5.